So today we're going to show you guys a couple of things. One is how to install your brand new LGA 2011 CPU into your motherboard. And the other is how to mount the Corsair H100 to your brand new 2011 board because this is one of the few high-end aftermarket coolers that is coming right out of the box with compatibility for Socket 2011 or LGA 2011. So the first thing to do is make sure before you touch any of your gear you have correctly grounded yourself which means touching the casing of a power supply that is plugged into to the wall. That is the way to ground yourself correctly. The next thing is you're going to go ahead and set your CPU aside. I know I'm holding the CPU in the first place, but it is what it is. And you're going to undo the latch with the U-shape on it. So that's the latch to undo first. Then you are going to undo the latch with the sort of looks like, uh, what's the heart rate monitor thing? Looks like that. Okay electrocardiograph? I, I don't know what they're called. Uh, and then you're going to pull up on this one a little bit and you are going to lift up the cover. So there, now everything is up. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to align the notches. So you can see there are actually one, two, three, four notches in the 2011 CPU. Two of them are closer to the edge and two of them are further from the edge. So you're going to carefully examine your CPU socket and look for the two notches that are closer to the edge and the two that are further. The other way you can check is to see the little gold triangle in the corner here and align that with the triangle on the socket itself. Can you see that triangle okay? Not really? There. Go until you can see the triangle better. There you go. There's the triangle. So you align those two and you will never get it wrong. Now you want to be very careful when you're putting this down because there are more than 2,000 pins in that socket. Every single one of them has to line up and contact perfectly the pad on the bottom of the CPU. So remember the bottom of a 2011 CPU looks like that. Yes, 2,000 little pads. They all have to be perfect. So be very careful with your socket because most motherboard manufacturers and most retailers will not cover you if you screw this up and you break your socket. So we're going to go ahead and put down the one with the little uh, 90 degree bend in it. Then we are going to tighten down the one with the U-shape. We have installed the CPU into the socket. The next thing I'm going to need is some thermal compound. And I thought I saw some around here just like a minute ago. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to apply a fairly large amount of thermal compound compared to what we're used to. This is a very big CPU. So I'm going to go ahead and put a line down the CPU just like that. And then... I'm going to take my H100, which you can see the H100, we're just using the, the backplate that comes with it. Have a look at the backplate. There's your standard backplate. And we're also using uh, the standard mounting hardware that comes with it. Just screw that into the backplate. And that's it. It's that simple. So then you take your H100 CPU block. You go ahead and it comes pre-cut, pre-configured to be completely compatible with LGA 2011, and for some reason this is uh, this is caught on here. That's interesting. Doo -doo -doo. Come on, need a little bit more slack. Need a little bit more slack. There we go. Okay, so we just lower that down on the appropriate pegs, and finally we take our four thumb screws and screw it down. Yes, that is it. It is that simple to install your H100 on the, hold on just a minute, we're going to have to refill. So um, yeah, we learned something. Uh, instead of using the standard Intel procedure, which is to use the Intel pegs and then screw those into the back plate. The back plate, even though it has the appropriate holes for 2011, the spacing's right, you don't use it. You actually use these ones. You screw them directly into the built-in front plate. It's more of a front plate than a back plate. And that is how you will mount the H100. Here we go. After you've cleaned it off, of course. How, that is how you will mount the H100 so that it sits down firmly on the CPU because with the other pegs, people, and you know what? Someone's gonna make this mistake. I made this mistake and it's a good thing I noticed before I turned on the CPU. If you use those longer pegs, 
then what's going to happen is you're not actually going to have any contact between your H100 and the CPU itself at all. So we're going to go ahead and tighten down our thumb screws in a diagonal pattern. So I usually tighten both of them at the same time. Then we get tighter, start tightening them in crosses until they are all the way tightened and there we go we have installed our lgla lga 2011 cpu and we have installed our corsair h100 on it remember guys you do not need the back plate and you do not need the standard intel mounting hardware which works like this and goes through the board because it just uses this plate that's built into the motherboard to install now one thing i do want to check out is how much the board is uh bowing not very much at all, because it does have this to increase the rigidity of the board as a whole, and then it has that front plate to keep it from to keep it from bowing. So you can actually here you can see that surface there is quite flat in spite of the tremendous pressure that's being applied by the H100. Thank you for checking out this video, and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.